Assalamu alaikum everyone. Information Box Ticket Lifestyle brings you Paragraph Writing Topic Health But before that don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button for more videos. Kindly show your support to this channel. So our today's topic is on health. Health is a valuable possession that allows us to keep a healthy lifestyle and a clear mind. It is the true elixir of happiness since it leads to a peaceful and composed mind. The most valuable asset is one's health. It allows us to appreciate the little things in the life. If one is not in good health, it is difficult to be joyful. Being sad can have an effect on the health of those around us. To be completely healthy, one must eat well, sleep well and get up early. Staying fit through exercising on a daily basis also helps to keep one's health in check. You may always work to increase your success if you are in good health. However, success is nothing if one is not well. As a result, we should adopt and strive for a healthy lifestyle. In terms of human terminology, health refers to a state of body that is completely free of illnesses or harm. Being healthy should be a part of our overall way of life. A cheerful mind and a good health are priceless commodities to have. If a person is healthy, he or she can always focus on accumulating wealth. However, wealth without good health is meaningless. Going for a regular stroll, adopting a hobby, remaining fit and eating healthy are all strategies to keep your health in check. To avoid chronic diseases and short-term ailments, it is vital to live a healthy lifestyle. It is also crucial to feel good about yourself and take care of your health in order to improve your self-esteem and self-image. Good health fills us with joy, contentment and gratitude. Adapting a healthy lifestyle by doing what is best for your body becomes critical for us at a young age. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Health is more than just what you eat or how you look on the outside. It's also about what you show in your actions, think about in your thoughts and say in your words. In today's world, there is so much competition at every level of life and everyone wants to exceed the others, whether at school or at work. Students begin running this rat race as children, unable to comprehend that their health comes first. Only when we are healthy can we work to our full ability in our jobs and extracurriculum activities. Health is more valuable asset than grain or money. Greed, dishonesty or deceitful behavior is the primary cause of sadness. As a result, it is crucial that we instill good ideals in ourselves and teach others how to do the same in order to spread happiness throughout the world. It is critical to maintain a good relationships with others around us as well as with ourselves. Spending quality time with loved ones is the best source of happiness. As a result, it is critical that we spend time with our friends and family. This not only keeps our mental health in excellent shape, but it also provides us with energy and healthy habits to keep our physical and spiritual health in good shape. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. While most definitions of health center on how weak or strong one's body is physically and how resistant they are to illnesses and accidents, a fresh debate has erupted concerning the state of one's mental health. Throughout history, the greatest advantages defined for all persons have been excellent health and a clear intellectual. What is notable is the close relationship and interdependence these two variables have with one another. A person who is not in good mental health is unable to retain good physical strength and stamina. Only a stress-free mentality and a positive frame of mind may contribute to good physical health. 
This combination allows us to see and experience true eternal bliss which is an interesting and merge from within. The never-ending exhausting search of pleasure frequently causes people to forget that they must also take care of their physical and emotional health. As children, we are frequently encouraged that leading a healthy lifestyle would be lead to good health. However, it is only as we get older that we realize that introspection, self-realization and reflection on one's own thoughts are also important aspects of sustaining excellent mental health, which may lead to a fit and lovely physique. A lack of this technique frequently leads to a dismal thoughts process in which one falls to recognize what is upsetting them and what they specifically lack. Maintaining good health has become critical for the whole core development of our personality and on our outlook on life. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button. What are some ways we can keep our health in check? Some methods for maintaining good health is number 1. Consume a well-balanced nutrient-dense diet. Number 2. Consume little quantities at regular intervals. Number 3. Get plenty of rest and meditate. Number 4. Don't eat junk food and don't skip meals. Number 5. Incorporate fiber and immunity boosting items into your diet. Number 6. Keep hydrated. And number 7. Be active and exercise on daily basis. What is the distinction between chronic and acute diseases? Acute disorder merge unexpectedly and last for a brief amount of time whereas chronic conditions develop gradually and deteriorate over time. How can we assure our happiness and the happiness of those around us? By speaking kind words, following good habits and performing helpful activities one can assure their own happiness as well as the happiness of those around them. So please remember, there can be no happiness without good health. Health is not valued till sickness comes. And he who has health has hope. And he who has hope has everything. And that's it for today. Don't forget to like this video, press the bell icon button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video.